Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Uh, but if you're joining me for the first time, for you to be able to join this family, this growing family that we're just growing consistently, um, you can subscribe, you can like this video, please feel free to comment and also you may share this video. I'm sure there are people who you think, you know what, I think this information may not be necessarily relevant to me right now, but there are people who need this information. Share to share is for free and sharing is caring thank you so much for joining me today um this is Moisa of lagazi in this youtube channel we educate to entertain we motivate you know but most of all is to empower is to help young people maximize their potential become better individuals uh, and, and 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 to to, to, to create a new breed of young people, you know, young people who are optimistic, young people who are go-getters, young people who are unapologetic, young people who are, whose mindset is far beyond their imagination and far beyond um, their current circumstances and situation. People who are not limited by their background, by, by, by what they know, but people who are consistently wanting to know more, consistently um, inquisitive and wanting to know things and you know and and get to know things better people who are open-minded to new things to new experiences yeah yeah you guys where am i getting this english from <laughs> i'm like where am i because okay where am i getting this english from because i did not did not prepare and whatnot okay so thank you guys for joining me today but um on this on this specific episode that i'm i'm doing today i'll be answering many questions that first years have um i've asked um first years that i know smart first years you know all first years are smart but these ones you know um are, are close to me i've followed their journey from their metric until they're at tertiary right now so i have known them quite for quite some time and i've seen you know um god taking them places guys um so on, on today um before we start though did you know that um out of matriculants thousands of matriculants who complete their metric um 18 percent gets to go to tertiary to tertiary imagine only 18 percent so but out of that 18 percent what makes what is more concerning is that 47 percent of those first years they drop out in their first year because of financial issues because of emotional issues because of you know there's no effective mentorship programs you know that uh, first years can get into so they can that can you know maximize them and their potential and, and make them you know to 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 cope and to survive on their first year because it's very hard to survive on your first year i do not know how i survived but i survived so now that is why i'm helping first years you know uh do better so if you haven't seen my book here's my book called primed up um you can order it then the details will be on the on, on, on the description box so on how you can get this book it's a survival guide for anyone who's starting a new life at a tertiary institution a parent may buy the book for their children and all of that so guys let's start with the first question for today thank you so much hello Mbuiselo. i hope you're good this is ayanda ngobane i live in cape town i'm a student at cape peninsula university of technology to diploma in management so um i'm so elucidated to get this opportunity to ask you this as you are my own mother so i uh, will they be able to complete my dress of this diploma and add another fourth day in order to change this diploma into a degree or maybe should i just forget about this year and change my course next day thank you thank you so much ayanda for that question so um to those who did not get the question so Ayanda is asking that she's currently doing a diploma at a university of technology then uh, what can she do um does she have to add another year in order to be in the same level as someone who's doing a bachelor's degree all right, please let us all listen carefully. So if, if you get your metric, every metric is an NQF level four. So it's a national qualification framework. So all matriculants, uh, all metric uh, people get um, an NQ a level four NQF. All right. And then if you happen to go to a TVET college, you will get an, an NQF level five qualification. So then if you happen to go to a, a, a university of technology, you will 
<laughs> yeah, in, 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 in Tibet, it's level five. But if you happen to go to a, a, a university of technology, you will get a level six. Yes, a level six um, NQF. So if you happen to go to a university, it's, it's the universities have level six to ten. So a bachelor's degree normally is level seven. If it's an honors degree, it's level eight. If you are doing your master's, it's level nine. If you are doing your PhD, um, it's level 10. So you get this. So for, for someone like you, Ayanda, what you have to do is that after completing your diploma, which is a level six, NQF level six, you have to add one year, which was known as BTEC. Right now, it's no longer BTEC. It is called advanced diploma. You must add one year, of, which is an advanced diploma, so that you can get an NQF level seven, so that you can be the same with someone who was at university doing a bachelor's degree. Then after um, doing your advanced diploma, you need to then do, if you want, you can do a postgraduate diploma, which will put you in the same position as someone who was doing an honors. And then after doing your postgraduate uh, diploma, you can then do your master's. You can then do your PhD if you like. I hope we get this. So don't feel bad because you're at college. Don't drop out. Continue, continue, continue. But do your advanced diploma. Do your postgraduate diploma if you want. So this is the, I, hope, I hope that information is very useful to everyone. Thank you. Hi, everyone. My name is Bono Wutlentlengetswa. I'm from UKZN. Uh, my question for today is, uh, if you are in an institution, maybe you get bullied, robbed, or raped, uh, how do you deal with uh, that matter? How do you deal with the bullying? Maybe if uh, you lost your confidence or your self-esteem, the way you view the world. So how will the institution deal with that matter? Thank you. So much, uh, thank you so much, Bonogutle, for that question. I think many people will benefit. As much as we think um, universities and tertiaries are all about uh, people who are, you know, academically focused, but there are police. There are people who also um, commit crime, you know, in, in different ways. I think that question is will benefit many people. So when someone harasses you or does an act such as like, a, a, a sexual assault um, act and also bullying, as you have mentioned, they are not just, okay, each university has its own policy, right? It may differ. UKZN may have a different policy. University of Zulan may have a different policy. So I'm sure that every institution has a policy that guards against harassment, sexual assault, and whatnot. Not just for students only, but even for staff members. So um, under the university, check the university policy of your institution. So normally, the, the, you have to report, obviously, to the relevant authorities. Uh, maybe the, the, the protection department report, they will have to investigate, um, internally investigate that matter. And then after investigating, they will have a disciplinary hearing uh, because they, there's, there's someone who we call an aggressor and there's also um, the, the victim or the, yeah, the, the complainant and the aggressor. I don't know, other names may differ, but the aggressor is the person who did the act. And then the victim is the, or, or the complainant is the person who is a victim of that particular act. So what you have to do is to report, they will investigate and then hold a disciplinary hearing. And once they find the individual to be guilty of, 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 of such um, an allegation, because it's not yet, you can't say the person did it, it's, it's an allegation. Since in South Africa, we say someone is, 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 is presumed to be innocent until proven guilty. So they will have to investigate and then in the disciplinary hearing, if they find that the individual is guilty, what they will do uh, or has contravened a certain policy, contravened mean, meaning to the, has gone against a certain policy, what they will do, they will then suspend that individual or they have different ways, you know, to punish the person. Sometimes they will suspend, you know, uh, for certain years or they will be but they'll be excluded academically you know or find other ways but also you are a citizen of this country right you're not just a university student but you're also a citizen of this country you have a right to go to saps report to the police um on, on that incident then they will do their processes and all of that because remember you're a citizen of the country are protected by our constitution um even though i'd be paraphr paraphrasing but i know that i think section 12 um, section 12, subsection 1, uh, paragraph C of the Constitution uh, protects, says everyone is protected, you know, 
from any form of violence, which may be public through a public source or a private source. So no one should be subjected to any form of violence, be it it's private or you are subjected to that violence by someone who's a public um, officer, like someone who's a police like that. You are not, you're, you're not supposed to experience, you need to, you are, you are, the constitution protects you from any form of, of violence. So I hope you got, you got that one. You are protected by the university policy and they will have their internal procedures. But externally, you, can, you may open a case because it's, the person did not just contravene um, the, the policy, but they also contravened your rights, your constitutional right, which is in the Bill of Rights. I hope you got that one. So no one must bully you. No one, tell me. Yeah. <laughs>